Coach Gaddy, congratulations. You guys are runner-up today. Um, I know you're going to have a hard time talking today. Because you were coaching hard, weren't you? Yeah, if they'd wrestle a little harder, I'd have more of a voice. So this is all you get. Uh, looking at, uh, you know, this is a pretty good event. What did you think of the rally scoring? Um, I saw a duel. You guys saw my final duel or, or pool final, essentially, your last duel, second to last duel. You guys were down big. You're yeah. down by like 30 points. Was the rally scoring something that fired you guys up and made kids score more points? Yeah, it did. It, it kind of took our all-star kids, our all-Americans, and made them like really want to take it up a notch and uh, you know put a lot of points on the board. Some of them were even like winning by nine and then tried to get a four, just to get those extra points, you know. And then others tried to go for the fall, and so I liked it. It was a lot of fun. Uh, I'm really thankful for uh, for Cliff and uh, and uh, Josh putting it on and then, then then taking that extra step to add that to it. So I thought that was really cool. I hope we see that more in the future. Okay, my topics whenever I talk to people from out west is, you guys gotta travel a lot. And then when I talk to guys from the south is, the south doesn't get a lot of respect because they don't have the depth that the north has. Right. What are you guys doing to change that? <sighs> practice, we gotta get better. Uh, the best kids need to practice together. Uh, the best coaches need to practice together. You know, we may not have 30 great coaches in Alabama, but there's, uh, there's 10 or 12. You know, we may not have 250 uh, great cadets and juniors like Illinois maybe, but you know, there are 35 or 40. Um, and the key is getting everybody together, uh, making each other better. Um, if we could do that, and when we've done that in the past, that's when we've had, you know, six, seven All-Americans, you know, in Fargo and our finalists and things like that. So it's really what it takes to kind of really change the culture. Who impressed you the most today for, for Alabama Wrestling Club? Ah, uh, it's a tie. Uh, Zach Van Alst, he killed everybody. He's a great wrestler, Fargo All-American, five-time state champion. He just, he was just Zach being Zach. Um, but really, Brett Winters, our 220, did great. He's also a Fargo All-American. He he's never going, stops moving forward. No, he just, he gets after it. And yeah. uh, he's physical. And, and the thing that really impressed me today wasn't just that he was you know, physical and won and dominated. He, uh, he had a lot of leadership and he made the rest of the kids on the team better. Um, and you know, for me, that's, that's the end goal. If we can, I mean, we want to win matches, uh, we want to get better at wrestling, but uh, really we want to make good young men. And so for him to kind of take on that leadership role, uh, that's a skill that's going to be good for him when he goes to college next year and wrestles, but you know, also when he becomes a CEO of a company or whatever. So that's real important to me. Looking at, you know, the culture that you guys are building, is it, you know, is it a situation where you're trying to pipe guys to Division One wrestling, and I, as I see you wearing your Virginia Tech shirt, is it something where that's that's where you want to be in three to five years? You guys need to have top D1 commits coming out of your state. Is that something that you're, you're geared towards, or are you just geared towards making young good young men? What are the ultimate goals of you know Alabama wrestling? I mean, I think uh, good young men is across the board, whatever. Whether you win a state title or, or, or you're a Fargo All American, you know that's what we want. That's success. Beyond that, we do have kids that want to go to the next level. They want to be Division One wrestlers. They want to be, um, you know, they want to wrestle in big time programs like with Kevin, you know, and they want to be, you know, we've had kids go in the Big Ten. Uh, we've had kids go and wrestle with Pac-12. Um, and so, I mean, we have kids that want that. And for the kids that want that, we want to make sure that they have the opportunity. We've had a lot of other kids go to smaller schools and, um, you know, get education basically paid for. So we had a kid a couple years ago went to uh, Penn State. You know, and so in that number one class, and so yeah, I think that's there. I think it's a lot. It's hard for an Alabama kid to get there, but it's not unobtainable. And if it's a possibility, why would you shoot for anything less? You know, I mean, there's so many. I mean, there's so many great programs in the South that are getting better. Uh, and you know, like I mean, Kevin getting a trophy for the first time this year for Tech, the first time ever in ACC history. I mean, that's awesome. And he's got St. John in there now, and Zadik, and those guys, and so. I mean, that's five and a half hours from us, six hours tops. And, uh, you know, like St. John came down last fall and worked out with our kids. And, you know, that's what we want. Plus, I mean, Virginia Tech's a great school. So my kids that want to get into engineering that are pretty successful at wrestling, then, you know, yeah. I mean, why wouldn't we want that? So. All right, tell me the story behind the shirt. What's, what's going on? Why are you repping Virginia Tech? So, You're an Alabama guy. I see, the, I see the roll tide on your hat. Why are you repping Virginia uh, Tech? Give me the well, story. Basically, Kevin... Kevin had a, a guy who uh, wrestled for him named Shay Bowman. Uh, he's a four-time state champ from Grundy, and uh, he uh, helped me start AWC f about 15 years ago. And through, through Shane and I's friendship, uh, I got to be really close with Kevin. And then um, also, uh, 
recently, you know, got to be really good friends with St. John and Zadik and those guys. And so we started kind of a little club called Roll Tide Go Hokies. And uh, so we try to like wear like some some Bama gear and some some hokey stuff. But I'll be honest, I just grabbed this shirt this morning. I, didn't know, I, was, I was actually wearing a jacket. It was just hot in here. Over it. So it was like 3 a.m. when I got up this morning, so I didn't even see my shirt. But actually, St. John gave me this. And uh, what a nice guy. Yeah, he's a great guy. Not a talker, but a great guy. So. <laughs> All right, you got anything else for me? Yeah, man, go flow. All right, hey, thanks for the time. Thank you, man. Safe travels home. All right, you too, brother.